Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we're going to discuss your lesson about useful and harmful materials at home, in school, and in the community. For our most essential learning competency, identify the harmful and useful materials at home, in school, and in the community. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. From our previous lessons, we were able to classify materials that can be found in the environment, whether they are personal body care products, cleaning agents, medicines, farm chemicals, and food reagents. But the problem is, are these materials are harmful or useful? Let's find out. For our guide questions, Number one, what are the materials found at home, in school, and in the community? Number two, what are the useful and harmful materials found at home, in school, and in the community? And number three, how do we classify useful and harmful materials at home, in school, and in the community? What are the materials found at home, in school, and in the community? Different kinds of materials can be found at home, in school, and in the community. Each material possesses different kinds of properties which can be used to determine its usefulness, solubility, Viscosity, chemical reactivity, hardness, brittleness, malleability, flammability, thermal conductivity, and flexibility, to name some properties. Can you list down five materials that can be found at home? How about at school? Can you name some materials that can be found in the community as well? What are the useful and harmful materials? The first material that we have is a face towel. Face towel absorbs water and sweat. Based on its property, a face towel is a useful material because it is used to dry our wet body. The next material that we have is a tissue paper. Same with face towel, it also absorbs water and sweat. Based on its property, a tissue paper is useful material because it is used to wipe the dirt and to dry liquids as well. The next material that we have is an electric wire. An electric wire possesses the property of conductivity because the copper wire inside of it allows electricity to pass through. Based on its property, an electric wire can be harmful or useful. Its harmful effect if someone can be electrocuted if the wire is electrically charged and being touched with bare hands. For its usefulness, it is being used to conduct electricity which allows appliances to work. We also have on the list is a firewood. A firewood possesses the property of flammability because wood is one of the materials used to start a fire. Based on its property, a firewood can be harmful or useful. 
its harmful effects are the following. Number one, it produces huge fire when left unattended. Number two, it creates blister when touched with fire. And number three, it can cause skin injury if we handle it improperly. For its usefulness, it allows us to cook our food. Next on the list is a sponge. A sponge absorbs water and other liquid substances. Based on its property, a sponge is a useful material because it is used to wipe or dry liquids. We also have sugar on the list. Its property is solubility because sugar can be dissolved in water. Based on its property, sugar is a useful material because it is used to sweeten drinks or food. The next material that we have is kerosene. A kerosene possesses the property of flammability because it is used to start a fire. Based on its property, a kerosene can be harmful or useful. Its harmful effect is it can cause explosion, while its usefulness is it is used to produce fire. We also have on the list is a glass window. A glass window has a property of brittleness and transparency. Based on its property, a glass window can be useful and harmful as well. For its harmful effect, it can cause wound when someone touches the broken pieces of it. While for its usefulness, it is used to absorb light from the outside. And the last material that we have is a casserole. A casserole possesses the property of conductivity because it allows heat to pass through. Based on its property, a casserole can be harmful or useful. Its harmful effect is it can cause blister if you accidentally touch the hot portion of it. While for its usefulness, it allows us to cook our food. How do we classify useful and harmful materials at home, in school, and in the community? We determine the usefulness of a material based on its properties. Some properties are useful, while others can be useful or harmful. Precautions should be observed to make these materials more effective and to avoid accidents as well. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!